it was interesting. Hello, everybody! How is everybody doing? Again, I bring you another review after a long stream. So, I have the people in the chat with me, ready to help me out with this review. Today, we review Slime Sam Super Slime Edition. Uh, I'm not quite sure if this game contains four... Slime Sam uh, games into one, or it's just I, I don't know. Anyway, for the for the written review that you probably have a link down in the description, I will do a little bit of uh, research and find out. But we play Slime in Slime Sam Super Slime Edition, and um, it is just another you know puzzle platformer with a little bit of physics throw into it. Just like, uh, you know, Epic Loon, the game that we reviewed last week. Um, but, um, yeah, um, the difficulty in the game, at the beginning I was a little skeptical because it was really easy at the beginning. Really easy. The, at the beginning of the game, the difficulty came from uh, trying to beat the level as fast as possible and getting all the apples. The apples are little green collectibles that you, fa you find in every level. So you can use those apples later on in the game to... Uh, uh, by uh, you know art like the art that you see right down 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 here with the fox, you know I I purchased that one in the store. So I, I put it on the size. Very interesting. There's four games in this compilation. Uh, all of them are about the slime, with different stories. But uh, technically, there's not much difference between them. It's just a physics platform. You go from point A to point B, you collect the apples or bananas or insects, depending on the game that you're playing. And try to do it as fast as possible without dying. Red stuff means death, yellow stuff is helpful, and sometimes it makes you bounce higher. And you just give you a clue, cheese. <laughs> hey, thank you for putting my uh, Twitter on the chat. If you guys want to follow me, you guys get... Uh, Notifications of where I'm going live with the with the with the streams. So there's not much to say about the game. Uh, it's pretty much what we did last week with uh, Epic Loon. Uh, the graphics are really charming, though. I, I really enjoy it. They're super cute. I mean, you look a little tiny little slime over here. It's like super cute. Uh, there were some bosses that were a little disturbing, to say the least. Uh, I, I don't. <laughs> Somebody should, you know, the the enemy design was a little. Come on, somebody was gonna make fun of it. I know I did. <laughs> uh, you probably will be seeing a little bit of a, a picture right here of what I'm referring to, but uh, <laughs> of course people are gonna make more fun of it. But for the most part, very cute. You have, but aside from the levels itself, you have like a little bit of uh, exploration in towns where you can use your apples to purchase things. You need coins. There were a little bit of uh, places where you purchase, like I said before, the art. Uh, you could play some games. Yes, games within the game. So, like, some stuff for arcade. I didn't manage to play them because I didn't have coins. But I, I guess not much to say. It was very enjoyable, though. I really enjoy it. If you guys like uh, physics platformers, this is a nice one. Uh, the difficulty goes from low to high. Fairly, you know. How should I put it? Nicely. It doesn't skyrocket immediately. Like in previous games that we play in this channel, where like it goes from like this is a tutorial and now you're going to die. Um so not much to say. So I uh, let me talk to the chat and let me see what you guys think about Slime Sand. So sounds like Castlevania 2, you're correct. Very, very similar to Castlevania 2, that you move around and no, unlock stuff. Maybe some Mega Man and, and Kid Icarus before he's... Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh... Again, the, the game shines with the graphics and the, the music is beautiful. I really enjoy the music. Uh, they're going for that little old school... I wouldn't say old school as much as like the, the, the indie style. You know how, you know, indie games use this type of graphics nowadays with like, you know, like uh, Shovel Knight, which has like 8-bit uh, graphics or 16-bit graphics with like beautiful music. Um, 
it's it's very addictive. Uh, you can forget time real quick if if, if you don't pay attention. Because I gotta put it there. I, I I got a little salty. This is a fine game, a little bit of a rage, but great music. Yeah. Again, really charming. Uh, the, I I just I don't know what else to say about the game. Uh, it, it, again, it's not that difficult. You make your own difficulty if you wanna do the levels as fast as possible and collect all the collectibles. But if you wanna just finish the levels, you can just go through it. But something I really appreciate is that there's their bosses. Like I mentioned before, that enemy that I, you know, in the YouTube video, I will probably put the image there again. <laughs> um, uh, work more like a puzzle instead of a. Uh, in addition to the uh, the physics platforming, stream gauntlet. <laughs> but again, what do you guys think about this game? Let me know. Let me know right now in this chat because you were you guys were here with me the entire time that we played this game. So I want to know what do you guys think. Would you guys buy it? Would you guys purchase it? By the way, this game, like I said at the beginning of the stream, I'm playing it on PlayStation 4, but you can find it on the Switch. Which to me is the perfect place to get it because this is they're short levels, right? So putting this in a, a, a portable platform is such a great idea. Yeah, you dry you drown a worm in acid. I know <laughs> it's a worm, a really creepy worm. But yeah, putting this game in a, in a, a portable platform is, is great. I don't know if so much for the consoles. Uh, the experience is more like a uh, very arcadey. You, like you go in, play a few levels, die, get tired, and move on with your life. So it's perfect for the go. Perfect, de definitely. So again, you can get it on Steam. You can get it on PlayStation 4, on Switch. I'm not sure if in the Xbox, but again, if, if you can find it in the Xbox, probably I'll put it down there in the in the written review. So, well, I. Listen, Kyrie. When we talk about mobile, we talk about the phone. That that's that's the mobile market. So it's, it's to be assumed that when we talk about mobile, we talk about phones. Uh, but yeah, sure. The the switch is a a a, a very mobile, uh, you know, console. Matter of fact, let me check if I can find it uh, in the store real quick. That seems like a great idea. I mean, till then, what else can you guys tell me about this game? Do you guys enjoy it? Would you guys get it? Uh, listen, if I didn't have a copy, uh, a copy review, uh, a review copy, I mean, I, I don't know if I would have uh, gotten this game. I just screw up my password. Yeah, there it is. Actually, it's 11.99 on the. Uh, it's 11.99 on the Switch, but this is the regular version. The one that we're playing right now on PlayStation 4 is the Super Slime Edition, which has four games technically. So mm, that's very interesting. So 11.99, it's not that expensive, and if you're into this type of game, I think it's worth getting. I thought it was Luigi 69 cat. <laughs> wow, that is a great password though, and I'm gonna steal it. And yes, Paris, this music is great, and I love it. Hold on, it makes me want to check the sound. Uh, you guys can hear my voice, right? The, the music is not too too high, right? Let me check it out real quick. Hopefully, you guys could hear most of the stuff I said during the review. Otherwise, I will have to do crazy things. While I'm editing the video, very annoying. All right. So anyway, in conclusion, how much you guys will give this game? Personally, um, I will give it a seven. I will give it a seven. It's it's not too deep when it comes to level designs. I mean, it is. It gets difficult. And but again, I think it's just fast-paced fun. You get in. Get your your rage going on and move on with your life. You told me 10 minutes ago to turn it down. Yeah, man. Now let's turn it down even more. 
There you go. How about now? So, anyway, yeah, I... Whew. You get it on mobile, but not on consoles or PC. You're right. Um, to be fair, I do believe that this game it is great for a mobile device like the Switch. Uh, consoles... I don't know, but I mean, if you're into indie games, you can get it there. 12 is a fair price, though. Definitely. It's a good price for the Switch. Um, let me get get rid of the Switch. Put it back where it belongs. Uh, uh, let me turn the sleep mode. There we go. Uh, Alright, so... So, just in case that I have to edit the video let me talk about for, about the game from the beginning again so yeah as slime sam a very challenging physics platformer i really enjoy it um the level designs go from easy to like pull your hair out the difficulty technically comes from the way you play the game if you want to finish the level faster and get all the collectibles, which are apples, insects, bananas, or whatever the type of game you're playing. It increases if you want to do all that crazy shit. But if you don't, you can actually finish the level fairly easy. Uh, there's like four games in this version, the Super Slime Edition, that contains all the games. Wait for it to go on sale for eight dollars. You're right, I mean, it's also on Steam, so the game is on Steam, so Steam is known to have like the... You know, those amazing sales, so I will wait for that too. If you can get it on sale, there's no reason not to get it. It's a pretty fun game. And again, if you're into physics platformers, go for it. There's no reason to not get it at that point. But yeah, $12 seems fair. Um, I think this version is a little expensive because they have four games. Again, we'll also wait for like a, a sale on this one. But um, yeah, a very interesting game. Um... Uh, Definitely will recommend to people to keep an eye on it. If, again, if you're fans of physical, uh, of physic platformers, just like the one for last week, uh, Epic Loon. I actually enjoyed that one a little bit more. That one, that one was rage-inducing. This one was charming, though. This one was full of charm, and the music was lovely. I really enjoyed it. Uh, so, anyway, any, anything else that you guys might want to add to the discussion? This is your final chance. Go ahead. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Fair enough. So anyway, thank you everybody for watching. That was the review for Slime Slime Sam Super Slime Edition. I hope you guys enjoy. This game was really charming. I really enjoy it. And so I'll see you guys next Saturday. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. I mean, it's a fair opinion. If you guys, I'm probably going to be doing another review next week of another game. Keep an eye open for that one. I'm not going to tell you what it is. If you guys want to know, you can always follow me on Twitch, Twitter, you know, and uh, you'll get the notifications. So anyway, thank you for watching. This was another Merry Media review. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was the first impressions with Slime Sam. Again, if you guys want a more in-depth review, please check the written review down in the description this one was just a first look to it like I came in here blind I didn't know what the game was all about eye-opening <laughs> so anyway thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time